yes today we will uh, learn about digital initiatives in higher education what are the digital initiatives in the higher educations uh, as we ma is there a slide that you are sharing ma'am no i am just uh, uh, giving the introduction then we will i will share the slide okay yes little bit this uh, introduction about the digital initiatives what do you know about the uh, digital initiatives please what are in education ma'am yes yes obviously it's related to education mooc that now we can study from our home from anywhere any time basis everyone can get that uh, how will you relate it with ict like uh, if simple no ma'am like if we are studying at home which simply means that we are using computer only computer internet data yes can, yeah we are dj that uh, this thing ma'am that disk uh, direct to home we are yes, uh, the use of the technology through online education in higher ed education also it is a part of the uh ict okay when you using when you using the digital things okay the in the education okay so this becomes the education affordable high quality inclusive inclusive means uh, if the uh, uh, some uh, persons can't afford the uh, so much uh, uh, like you can say that there is so much fees uh, fees in the uh, higher education so some persons can't afford this much fees so this help this make, makes the this uh, higher education digital education makes the study affordable so this makes also study inclusive because any category any person can do that study okay any age any age person okay if the person is 40 plus 50 plus he can also do this study it depends upon the uh, you can say that that course if the he is he or she eligible for that course he can do that course of any age at or at their own place so this way the we can use our high, uh, higher uh, smartphones uses internet so we can use the skillful education so get to get the job so these can through the internet or ict we are including the ict in the education so that's why it is called digital initiatives in higher education uh, this comes across uh, near about corona but uh, this has been done uh, started uh, 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 around nep nep national education policy around 2000 when the uh, national education uh, comes policy comes in which year ma'am it's first is 68 second is 86 and the uh, latest one is 2020 yes now in in uh, 2020 digital era comes okay so we will study about uh, first we will study today we will study about the digital education in school level okay then after that uh, we will uh, discuss about the higher education okay i will directly uh, show to the uh, directly site okay uh, online site from where we get the original data okay through this we will study okay that is the i will share first screen i will show the government site from where the this start Yes. Now it's visible. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Are you visible? This is the CIT screen. CIT. This is the Central Institute. Please note down the also full forms. CIT. CIT is the Central Institute of Educational Education Technology. Okay. This is related to the NCERT. Okay. this is a government site okay 
yes this is the logo of the central institute of educational technology this is the educational sometimes the uh, they ask the uh, full forms of the ciat so sometimes they uh, uh, write down the education so education and educational so you have to check you have to uh, see that properly it is education or educational sometimes they will confuse you you will see that ciat is uh, education educational you have to see the difference okay so this will be the full form of the it is a constituent constituent unit of ncert okay it is related to the ncert one second i will give you the notes but i will uh, want to from the direct site okay teach you uh, okay this is the central institute what is the central institute of educational technology central institute of educational technology is the constituted unit of ncert came into existence uh, in which year it, it it came into the existence it in, in the 1984 please note down the year 1984 it is it is comes in the existence in 1984 with the merger of the center of educational it is merged with the center of educational technology and department of teaching aids cet and dta okay it is merged with the cet and dta ciat is a premier national institute of educational technology its major aim what is the ma main aim of this uh, technology to utilize of the educational technology via radios via TVs via films via satellite communications and cyber media either separately or in combination or the combination of the radio all the combination of the radio TV film satellite communication or via only separately radio separately TV separately film step separately satellite communications so we will discuss briefly describe it yes it is a central institute sorry it is a central institute of education and technology is a constituted unit of it's a unit of the ncert constituent unit of ncert okay it is a organization uh, it is a autonomous organization under moe ministry of education government of india established in 1984 with the merger of cet and da dta CT, CET comes in 1973 and DTA comes in 1959. Its chief aim is to promote educational technology. But that's it. Now we will. What is the? It's a constitute of the uh, key points are the constituted unit of NCRT organization under the Ministry of Education established in 1984, merged with CET and DTA. Its chief aim is to promote educational technology. Okay. Now we will uh, discuss about the now major functions of the. What are the major fun? Sorry. Major functions is the design, develop, and disseminate alternative learning system. Okay, alternative learning system promote educational technology. Train personnel in. Educational technology advise and coordinates activities of sites and provide consultancy and media support to other constituents of NCERT. This is a major functions of CIET. Okay. C is C is the for center, S is for the state level. Okay. IET full form is same. Got it? C is uh, C for the center central government for and as for the state government now we will uh, talk about the digital initiatives under ciet it is a school level it is at the school level now these all are the digital educational initiatives these are the logos uh, pm e vidya prime minister e vidya e parshala diksha these are important comes in the exams pm e vidya e parshala diksha mooks on swayam nishtha nce ncf tech uh, technology platform ict curriculum accessibility in school curriculum okay we will discuss one by one 
PM E Vidya. What is PM E Vidya? Prime Minister Electronic Vidya is an innovative and unique initiative by the Ministry of Education. It is under comes under the Ministry of Education to sustain education by leveraging ICT and to facilitate learning and te teaching at school level. It offers mel multifarious educational resources. What are these resources? These are the resources: Diksha, digital platform for the knowledge, Swayam portal, twelve DTH TV channels. What are the twelve DTH TV channels? These comes are the one to twelve, uh, first class, second class, third class. Okay, I will open it. These are the these are the twelve D, D, uh, DTH educational TV channels: class one, class two, class three, up to class twelve. Okay. Now dissemination of the content through radio, okay, and special e content for for children. One second, which are physically disabled. These these uh, this uh, this portal is for the which uh, t uh, which children are weaker, which are children are uh, physically disabled. This initiative. is for the one second i opened wrong yes the initiative this initiative realizes and promotes inclusion of students with higher education in mainstream education following the principles of udl following resources are developed in isl aiming to create opportunities for students from all sections of society a key component of cit efforts towards accessible education is developing inclusively special needs students you have to just learn that these this is for the special needs students. This this provides a sign language to teach to learn the so that the uh, children who are weaker who are dis physically disabled they can learn they can uh, learn through this uh, those uh, this platform where the sign language teaches teachers use the sign language to learn the students to teach the students who are Hearing impa impa uh, impaired students, like you can understand, hearing impaired students, this platform is used for that. They are physically disabled. Okay. This platform is for that uh, teach, uh, students. So, this comes under the Prime Minister E Vidya, where this digital in infrastructure for knowledge, Diksha, Swayam portal, 12 DTH TV channels. A dissemination of content through radio special e content for children who are weaker who are physically disabled okay so uh, this is uh, now we will uh, learn about the diksha what is the diksha it is a also important diksha what is diksha diksha is the full form of the diksha is the digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing it is for the knowledge sharing where we can get it is a uh, mobile app it's uh, it's a mobile it's a mobile app where we can get the all content where the students can get the content of uh, according to their need okay it's a national platform for school education an initiative of national council ncrt it's a full form of N national council for education research and training under the aegis of Ministry of Education. This also comes under the Ministry of Education, Government of India. It's launched in, just you have to learn the air. It's uh, Diksha is launched in 2017 by Vice President of India, Shri M. Venkahe Naidu. Okay, Venke Naidu. It's almost all states and all union territories. Okay, this is launched all states, all India. You can say that all India. Just you have to learn the year 2017 by Vice President of India, Shri M. Venkai Naidu, through the uh, by the uh, under the uh, Ministry of Education. 
the full form of the diksha is a digital in infrastructure for knowledge sharing and you have to learn that there are the, uh, this uh, platform provides the uh, ebooks textbooks okay and this becomes this becomes that india is the atmanirbhar bharat this declares india is the atmanirbhar bharat one nation one digital platform diksha has been declared as one nation one digital platform okay you have to just remember these uh, uh, three to four lines about the uh, full form of the diksha digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing year of the launch of the diksha is 2017 by vice president of india shri m venkai venkai naidu under the ministry of education and uh, under the pm evidya it also comes under the pm evidya initiative of, of the government of india which which declared what declared pm evidya atmanirbhar bharat diksha uh, pm vidya declared atmanirbhar bharat and diksha declared the one nation one digital platform you have to learn this line one nation one digital platform okay just now next is a pme vidya now e pathshala what is e pathshala e pathshala is the teaching learning process in which uh, teachers teachers educators students and parents can it is just for the e books it is also for the e books okay in diksha teachers can use uh, can get their own knowledge to the uh, that uh, platform but can add can add their own knowledge but in e pathshala teachers educators parents and students can access e books okay can get e books through their uh, tablets or through their uh, mobiles or laptops any any can be uh, technology can be used okay there are so many books uh, present in the uh, e pathshala or uh, this is also comes under the mhrd now uh, it is also uh, um, before moe uh, moe is also called the ministry of human resource development mhrd now it's a joint initiative of the mhrd now you have to remember the word it, there is a name of the mhrd now uh, after sometimes the uh, name change na moe uh, MH, mhrd name change moe but now uh, at the time of the e, e partial uh, there, there is the mhrd okay ministry of human resource development and national council of education research and training ncert developed in this is a joint initiative of the mhrd and ncert in november 2015 in november 2015 you have to learn the year november 2015 and joint initiative of the mhrd and ncert this provides the ebooks okay this app provides the ebooks okay that's it now next is diksha we have learnt now swayam you know about swayam but we will little bit discuss ncert moocs moocs is a massive open online course on swayam what is swayam swayam is a study web you have to learn the full forms of all these moocs is a massive open online course and swayam is a study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds okay this is a portal and a mobile app all these are the mobile apps okay anybody can use and get the education from these apps according to their need the national council of education research and training has been designated as national coordinator for the development and dissemination of massive open online mooc for ed school education this is also for the school edge all we are learning about these apps these all comes under the schools okay these courses will be accessible through swayam swayam is also for the higher education portal and mobile app and now it's enough about the now we will this is a four quadrants four pillars of the swayam these are the video lectures specially crafted reading material self assessment tools 
ऑनलाइन डिस्कशन फॉरम्स वट इज दीडियो लेक्चर एज वी नो अबाउट दीडियो लेक्चर engaging uh, video presentation that facilitated effective learning okay we can get uh, any time if we we want to learn uh, the we want to uh, get uh, if suppose if you uh, not uh, uh, get the uh, what i will see online online you uh, can't attend the online class you get the na no, video uh, recording you go, go through the video recording this is same as like that video lectures you can get the video lectures okay you can get the study uh, study material from the video lectures specially crafted reading material these materials can be conveniently downloaded and printed providing accessibility for offline learning you can get the download you can also get the uh, if you want offline learning you can download the reading material okay self assessment tools there is also a possibility for the uh, downloading the material learning material self assessment tools students can gauge their understanding through self assessment test they can get they can uh, uh, know that they can uh, self assess through the test and quizzes there are also availability of the test in the in this uh, app online discussion forums we can discuss we can get uh, we can clarify our uh, doubts uh, with the mentors with the uh, through the discussions okay these are the four quadrants comes under the swam or uh, video lectures specially crafted reading material self assessment tools online discussion forums now next is the nishtha this is also very important nishtha is a national initiative for school heads and teachers holistic advancement this is this comes under the for the teachers uh, teachers can uh, update teachers can update his uh, his level he can update his level he can improve their uh, uh, way of the uh, teaching through this okay the department of school education and literacy uh, literacy has launched a national mission to improve learning out outcomes at the elementary level through an integrated teacher training program this gives a teacher training program called nishtha its full form is national initiative for school heads and teachers okay school heads means to say head of the uh, head head department of the school okay and teachers also so uh, under the centrally sponsored scheme for what is the name of the scheme is samagra shiksha what is the name of the uh, scheme to get the teacher training program samagra shiksha in which year 2019 to 2020 Uh, nishtha is a capacity building program to improve quality of school education through integrated teacher training okay this uh, sufficient for there are four level there are four levels of the shiksha what is the you have to just know about the levels name of the level uh, nishtha 1.0 nishtha 2.0 nishtha 3.0 nishtha 4.0 nishtha 1.0 is for elementary level nishtha 2.0 is for secondary level nishtha 3.0 is foundation literacy and numeracy and nishtha 4.0 is early childhood care and education e c c e these four are the you can levels of the nishtha okay elementary level secondary level foundational foundational you can you know na when the uh, uh, children go to the school prep uh, play pen school this is a foundation start starting you can say that the starting level of the uh, school education and then the early child childhood care and education these all comes under the levels of the nishtha this is elementary level secondary level it uh, national uh, nishtha 3.0 is also called nipun bharat what is 3.0 is for nipun bharat okay and early childhood e c c e yes and it's a ncf tech pl uh, platform
one second. Yes, what is NCF? NCF is the National Curriculum Framework. When you make some, uh, like you can, uh, you say na, when you go to the school, there is a uh, every school has some curriculum. Every uh, every school has some curriculum framework. Okay, so this is also this uh, platform is also have some curriculum platform. This is the this is called National Curriculum Framework for uh, for what? for early childhood care and education national uh, what is the full form of the ncfe cc is a national curriculum framework for early education care and education as per the nep this is a very uh, in nc uh, this pol uh, under which policy this uh, curriculum framework is uh, developed in NEP National Education Policy 2020. Four NCF will be developed. What four NCF will be developed? First one is the National Curriculum Framework for Early Childhood Care and Education. National Curriculum Framework for National Education, School Education. National Curriculum Framework for Teacher Education. National Curriculum from Adult Education. Okay, first is the early early childhood care education. Second one is a school education. Uh, third one is a teacher education. Fourth one is the adult education. Okay, you have to learn about uh, uh, until this. Uh, nothing more than that. Okay, uh, NCF take platform is the national curriculum plate uh, framework. Okay, this uh, under which policy this is developed? National Education Policy 2020. Following four NCCF, uh, uh, what uh, curriculum framework were developed? There are four NCF will be developed. First one is the early childhood care education. Okay. Fourth one is the uh, school education. Th third one is a teacher education. Fourth one is a uh, adult education. Now it's sufficient for the NCF tech platform. Now it's a ICT curriculum. Now it's a ICT curriculum. There is a curriculum for the teachers and for the students. You have to learn just key points about this curriculum. You have to, curriculum. There is a curriculum for the students also. There is a curriculum for the uh, students and teachers both also. Okay. And uh, national policy on ICT is in a school education has set the goal of preparing youth to participate greatly creatively in the establishment and sustenance and the growth of the knowledge and teachers must be treated not merely as consumers but also as in this curriculum both teachers and uh, students should all uh, should be active should be active producers they should produce like in uh, the obje objective for the student is develop digital li literacy skills they have to develop their digital literacy skills Assess various tools and application for learning. They have to use the different tools and uh, applications for the learning. Operate a variety of hardware and software. Use the ICT fa uh, facility with care. Create a variety of digital resources. Practice safe, legal and ethical meanings of using ICT. This course uh, comes under the course uh, 1 to 12 up to 1 to 12 and for the curriculum for the teachers is use ict to tools okay software application and digital resources effectively same as like the students integrate ict in teaching the teachers have to use the ict in teaching learning and evaluation acquire organize and create digital resources same like students participate in teachers networks they have to participate in the teachers networks evaluate and select resources they have to select the resources and teach according to that and practice safe and ethical legal laws of using ict same like like as like that students they have to practice practice of the safe ethical and legal ways of using ict use ict for making classroom more inclusive okay now accessibility in school curriculum Now, efforts towards the 
equitable education and inclusive education what does it mean inclusive education have you learned in the higher education what is the inclusive education or teaching aptitude aptitude i think so you have learned na please tell me can you repeat your question ma'am yes inclusive education what is inclusive education is it about uh, taking care of the kids need rather than uh, teacher centered ma'am yes it it's a teacher centered also it is a also inclusive uh, education is the for uh, every child every child who can't get the who are not who are economically weak which uh, students are economically weak the the provide the education to them okay who are disabled any disability okay so scdg means is the uh social uh, social economic disadvantage group so this is for the scdgs okay who are social uh, social economic disadvantage uh, groups this education is for that that is means inclusive education equitable means e equal uh, who are uh, so uh, economically good and who are economically not good both are equal both are equal get both are equally get the education through this platform okay so this is our accessibility in school curriculum efforts towards a equitable education and inclusive education aim to address educational needs gives the educational need just the focus is to on the educational needs that arise as a result of belonging to scdg scdg is socio economic disadvantaged uh, groups as well as those that arise despite have no association with as i just you have to learn about this now there are so many you have to ju just learn about the e uh, uh, what organizations comes under the what are the initiatives comes under this uh, school curriculum e paatshala barkha teacher learning resources in indian sign language as we uh, discuss in the na children who are weaker who are disabled the uh, provide the sign language accessibility concerns in ncert books are there audio books are there these are the initiatives uh, for the students school uh, students priya accessibility warrior bhasha sangam teacher support material on inclusive education pm vidya okay diksha swayam on moocs nishtha augmented reality virtual reality tactile map ebook you have to learn all these names Pre, uh, precious i will tell you about barkha and uh, precious okay the second barkha is also important one second this is also for the equi equitable education and inclusive education this is a graded reading series there are the grades levels for the uh, you can say that the uh, levels of the um, education there are the levels of the education like now you see the there are the books there are so many books there there are some levels uh, of the books uh, like uh, level 1 level 2 level 3 you read the books so there are so many series uh, if you uh, like you can say that now um, if you want the birds and anim um, like how yeah in childhood we used to get those kind of books the level you know, level there are so many levels of the that uh, students so this is a uh, also uh, this is about the class 1 and class 2 okay these are the grade reading series where we can get the uh, there are four levels four uh, you can say four levels level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and there are five themes what uh, these levels are depend upon uh, what themes these are the three relationships how you will know about the uh, to uh, give the education of uh, the uh, small children about the relationships okay about the uh, uh, know about the birds and animals 
okay musical instruments to, uh, to tell the difference in the uh, musical instruments so these are the levels these are the levels comes in the barkha okay and in the uh, one is a prashast prashast is also for the disability screening checklist for the schools this is for the schools one second these alls as we learn the this alls these alls are for the equitable education and inclusive class classroom you have to learn this word equitable education and inclusive education which uh, resources which initiatives comes it in this equitable education and inclusive education these alls these all comes under the and which policy nep nep 2020 all these education uh, equitable education and inclusive educations comes okay these all the initiate major india you have to learn the name e partshala barkha audio books uh, indian sign language all we have discussed pm vidya diksha prashast these basha sangam i will uh, give you the uh, short notes on this but you have to learn these names okay you have if they uh, give the uh, question now uh, about the equitable uh, education and inclusive education what uh, major initiatives comes so if they give the name you have to uh, uh, pick the names okay uh, these names comes under the uh, digit uh, sorry uh, equitable education and inclusive education under nep policy 2020 okay now we have uh, discussed about the schools. Now we will uh, go through the higher education after plus two. Okay. One second. <coughs> so first we have uh, learn about the Swayam. Swayam is same for the school students and for the uh, postgraduate and undergraduate students okay this is same for the same four quadrants are there uh, video lecture reading material self-assessment online discussion form okay these are the categories for the uh, under graduation students so you can say that or after 10th you can say that there are engineering science humanities management uh, different departments comes under the swam after uh, 12th okay courses del uh, delivered through swayam uh, are free of cost all courses delivered through swayam are free of cost there are uh, there is no charge for these uh, courses if you learn the science if you learn the in uh, get the education about the engineering about science about humanities about management about any language this these all are free of cost if you register if you want certification if you, uh, some person uh, only get the knowledge they don't need any certification so this is free of cost but if someone wants to get certi uh, certification they have to uh, pay little bit fee they have to pay little bit fee for the certification okay there is some uh, assessment there is some uh, test will be there if uh, some students want uh, certification he, uh, he has to give the exam like exam like assessment so they can get marks okay in that exam and they will get the that certification and there will be academic record of that student okay now there are nine coordinators of the national coordinators of there are aict you have no you know the uh, full forms okay one second yes ma'am okay one second yes AICT, okay, and PTEL for engineering, UGC for under, uh, under grant commission for post graduation, CEC for the undergraduate students, NCERT for the school education, NIOC for the open school education, IGNO is also for the open school education, IMB for the management studies, NITTC uh, for the technical teacher training okay, and research, NI Triple T R for the no. teacher program. Yes. I have a question. Yes. As UGC deals with post-graduation education. Yes. So like 
in my university we 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 uh, they have pg and ug both so no, no both uh, but especially that UGC comes under the post graduation, but in universities and in uh, some colleges, they are under uh, UGC. They provide the undergraduation uh, education. So they will come under CEC then, like undergraduation, uh, undergraduate. No, graduate you will still, uh, you will uh, like that now. Uh, UGC especially for the post graduation. They comes under the for the bachelor students because bachelor students all also go to the UGC. Uh, you will get uh, uh, CC for specially specially program specially education for the uh, undergraduate, but UGC is uh, for the especially for the post graduation. This comes under for the uh, uh, graduation student, but specially it means specially for the post graduation. UGC is specially for the post graduation. Okay. So, ma'am, CEC doesn't work in a large scale, no? Like, yes, because yes. I have never heard anything that. Yes, this yes. Is... This is no for. Uh, this is. Uh, I think you, not usually you see the CEC. You will not see because you you now after some policies now UGC is under mostly UGCs because uh, now you will see that um, almost colleges are affiliated with the UGC or universities. Most probably now, a days. So yeah. there is no CEC. Yes. So now next is the Swayam Prabha. Swayam Prabha, as we know that this is an educational channel through the DTG direct to home. Twenty-four into seven. This is a what what satellite used in the uh, Swayam Prabha? This is a G set satellite. G set fifteen. Okay. This comes under the MHRD. So, Prabha comes under the MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource Development. How many channels are there? There are 34 channels. Or uh, uh, in a day, every day, last uh, least four hours, you will get the, uh, and five times repeated channel. Four hours, there will be the uh, channels, uh, there will be the educational channels, but these four hours will be repeated in uh, five times in a day. And uh, st uh, students can choose the time according to their convenience. So, what is the full form of the BISEG? Hey, kiska? BISEG. Sorry? BISEG. BISEG. Achha, B -I -S 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 -S. Okay, okay. Yes, Bhaskarachar yes. Institute of Space, Aeronautics, and Geoinformatics. Yes, yes. Uh, Space application and geoinformatics. Hmm. Yes, you have to learn the full forms because sometimes they ask. So, bisect is related to please. Sorry, ma'am, didn't get you. Yeah, we didn't get you. Bisect is related to which portal? Which app? From Swayam Prabha, yes. Swayam Prabha. Yes. Who uh, maintains this portal? Inf uh, information Library Network. Inf in LibNet. Okay. This is the most common network. DTA channel covers the higher education. You have to learn the name just. Higher education, school education, curriculum-based courses, assist students 11th and 12th for the competitive exams. Okay, it's for the higher education. Higher education means to say engineering, technology, law, medicine, agriculture. All these our channels are for the higher education. You will get the education uh, about these things. Okay, these uh, 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 what we will say this education about these education like science, commerce, uh, arts, social science, humanities, engineering. All these education will get. Uh, these are the comes under the higher education. You will get through the this DTH channels. Okay. Now school education. You will get the get the school education one up to nine to twelve. Okay. Now curriculum based courses. These curriculum based courses are these are the for every Indian citizen. 
दीज प्रोग्राम फॉर द एवरी इंडियन सिटीजन को देर इज देर इज नो मैटर ऑफ द एज ओके असिस्ट स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव स्टूडेंट्स कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स वो वॉन्ट टू गिव द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स ना सो दीज आर फॉर द डी टी एच एन एस फॉर आर फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स now next is the ndl national digital library of india e partial we have completed so ministry of education is national mission on one second nme ict okay you have to learn this uh, full form nme ict national mission on education through information and communication technology uh, NDEL uh, comes under N M E I C T National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology, which initiated the NDEL. Okay, to framework of virtual repository. What is a repository? Where you can get the all data about the. You can say that there is a go down of the education. there is a big go down big container of that education okay repository virtual repository of learning resources with a single window in a single window you can get all the learning resources okay it is developed by the you have to name learn the name of the iit kharagpur ndl of india is developed by iit kharagpur you have just uh, remember the name okay how many languages are there 400 languages okay 400 languages are there there are so many theses books articles video lectures you will get you will all these things will get all uh, resources will get on this platform okay ndl or ndl uh, who initiate this ndl national Mi mission on education through information and communication technology n m e i c t okay 400 languages are there and there what is the what are the repository 16 types of learning resources you will get about books you will get the books you will get the articles you will get the manuscripts you will get the video lectures you will get the theses dissertations all you will get on the ndl okay and uh, this is developed by iit main thing iit kharagpur now e yantra it is also important e yantra e yantra is a robotic ma'am yes sorry for interrupting can you just please uh, scroll the slide toward left uh, right side one second is now it's okay yeah yes e yantra is a robotics outreach program funded by the ministry of education and it is hosted it is a robotic program okay e yantra is a tool it's it's like a tool for the engineer and uh, you can say that as science every department you will get the tools technologies okay this program is funded by the moe okay and host who host this program e yantra iit bombay okay young engineers use the technology at variety of domains like agriculture if uh, someone wants to engineers on the agriculture they will get the tools they will get the technology through this e yantra okay on home science on smart city maintenance on service industries all these technology all these uh uh domains all these variety of domains uh, in the, uh, student or uh, will get the technology or tools will get from this platform this is a robotic outreach program you have to learn the robotic outreach program hosted by the iit bombay and there is the engineering level uh, engineering level technology used okay in e yantra posse posse as we discuss in the software types this is uh, in this that type is used okay posse is a free libre and open source software where there is uh, the source software is uh, free of cost and is also open source means 
you have the source you have the source code okay of that software or the which software educational software okay the full form of the force is a uh, and flows as we discuss the flows now free libre open source software force is also force is for the education and flows is the software to improve the quality of the education through that source code the education the um, the uh, student student can get the knowledge about that software on uh, he can use the software to get there to increase their uh, knowledge okay he upgrade their knowledge it aims to re re uh, reduce dependency on proprietary software in educational institute okay it encourage the use of flows tools through various activities to ensure commercial software is replaced by equivalent flows tools the uh, yeah, this to, uh, this software is used for the research okay now national mission on nme force it is a part of the national mission on education you have to learn the name of the this word national mission on education force project is a part of the nmoe through information and ict through ict moe national mission on education force is the part, project is a part of the national mission on education under moe and next last we will complete after that we will finish the class spoken tutorial so spoken tutorial is uh, launched by iit bombay as we discussed the nm i e i c e t national mission on education ict as we discussed in uh, the previous uh, national mission on education through uh, information and uh, technology it is a full form it is also spoken tutorial is also under the nmeict okay national mission on education in, uh, information and communication technology is launched by the iit bombay mhrd this is under the moe this is under the mhrd okay it is for the uh, give the skill give the skill on the both for the both student undergraduate students and post graduate students it is for the information technology means to say it's it is for the software engineering okay engineer uh, for the engineering students like uh, use na these are the languages who want to learn these languages python perl bash jim blender the uh, these are the uh, this is a learning app for the software you can say that this is a learning app of the it students this is a learning app for the it students this is launched by the iit bombay okay <clears throat> under nmeict mhrd okay uh, for the undergraduate and post graduate student okay this program is for the five years no no it is running it is it, this program is running last 5 years so you just uh, leave it leave this line you have to just uh, note down the uh, this is launched by iit bombay under nmeict the full form of the nmeict and it is under the mhrd and this is uh, uh, this is for the it students this this is this learning app is for the it students got it this is called spoken tutorial and we can get this app in play store yes okay these all the free and open source this is also the free and open source software force linux like linux you can learn so this is for the software engineers because it ict is uh, uh, mainly ict is related to the software engineers okay if you want to learn about the na uh, softwares and hardware is about an about the languages programming languages these all things comes under the software engineers okay so this uh, uh, so f o o uh, force force app uh, software uh, software is used for the learning the it students for training program okay is yes, now finished here tomorrow we will complete this 
I think three to four are left. Okay. So the all this thing comes under the third unit now. I am digital initiative. Of yes, yes. All this comes under that. First, we will discuss about the school education, all Diksha, Partshala, and the PM Vidya. All these comes uh, Barkha. These all comes under the school education. Okay. All programs comes under the school education. Now we are learning about the the higher education. Okay. Okay. Yes. No. So, ma'am, there is a lot of information that was given in the last one hour. Uh, would you be giving us any no proper notes, ma'am, or should we go to the website and copy important points? One, one second, one second. 